Hi, and I'm Evo Dan, and today we are going to, for tutorial one, do a simple respawn. I'm going to show you how to set this up in the editor for the three factions. That's blue four, op four, and independent. And we're going to go into multiply, and we're going to test it. So first, we're going to place down a soldier from each faction. So I'm going to have a NATO guy, I'm going to have an op four guy, and I'm going to hide him over here at the way so he doesn't shoot at him and then I'm going to have an independent guy over here okay so I've set them all to playable then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the respawn marker so you need to go to markers I'm going to select the right colors here I'm going to select the HQ place that there and for the blue fort side I'm going to type respawn underscore west which is the respawn marker for the west or blue four side. Next I'm going to go and select a independent flag and I'm going to place it here and then I'm going to call it respawn underscore grr which is the independent spawn. Then for up four I'm going to finally create another one which is respawn underscore east. Okay, I'm going to click that. So for the next item, we are going to go to Attributes. We're going to go to Multiplayer. And then we're going to set the respawn up. So I'm going to take it from Disabled to Respawn on Custom Position. Okay. So as you can see, you can use the names like this. You can use the shorter names as well. And then we're going to not select any of the other boxes. We'll explain that. We're going to set zero display respawn delay. And we're going to allow manual respawn. We're also going to disable the AI. So we will just spawn as it is at the start of the mission. I'll untick that. Press OK. And then I will save the mission. And I will export to multiplayer. And then we will jump to a multiplayer. So now i am in the multiplayer server i've spawned as the soldier and i will now press respawn and i respawn straight away and there's my dead body so now i'll go back and i'll select the op4 player and i'll do the same and this is the same and i just respawn and there you go and my body is right there I'll go back and I'll show you the independent, which is this one. So you can see I spawned and I'm going to respawn. And then, yep, you can see I have respawned like that. Okay, so I will go back to the editor now and I'll finish this off with a bit of an explanation on what the options in the editor do. Okay, so now we are back in the editor. I will explain a bit more about what the mission settings do for the respawn. So, respawn on custom position, spawns on the marker. You can put numbers at the end, which then does generate uh, extra locations for you to spawn, but it's randomly selected doing this. Now you can have respawn on position death, which is respawn where you died. Uh, we switch to group member which switches to next in the group if there's AI in your group switch to a random uh, character on your side provided as a playable one or just make them a spectator so below you have then the rule sets so you can respawn in way if you can tie this to another function we won't go through this here um, you can go through select uh, respawn loadout this uh, gives you the option to select a loadout from the pre-configured ones when you respawn. Likewise, you can select respawn position, which is only useful if you've got more than one respawn for that side. It allows you to click where you respawn. You can show the respawn counter, which is simply a timer. Uh, you can change it to the more single player death screen. Uh, you know, very simple. Switch it to spectator. Or you can do tickets. We won't cover that here. And again, then we've got respawn delay. This is in seconds, so I can set that to five seconds here. And then vehicle respawn, we won't cover here. It'll be in a separate video. 
and we can either share the scoreboard so you can see what you've done on the server and then we've got manual respawn if you untick this you can't force respawn and uh, enable teams which this is an option that's grayed out and AI score we won't worry about it unless you have an AI okay um, what I will do is I will export this mission to the workshop and I will link this in the comments in the video anyway thanks for watching this video